This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Hey, this past week we did a lot of reviews. Let's check it out. So the first one was Around the World in 80 Days. This was a reprint of, say, Taurus and Hare, which was the original first ever Spiel des Jahres winner. Now, so I looked at that. It's a game where you're trying to get around the world and you're going to different places on the board. You gotta spend money to go forward, but you can gain money by going backwards and you're trying to get be the first one there with $10 or less. It's a little bit of a mathematical equation at the end. And it's an interesting game there. The next one was Flamme Rouge. This is a cycling speed game where you're trying to race around the one of six different courses that you can make. And it's a card driven game. There's no dice. You're deciding which cards to draw. You're deciding which ones to play. And you're trying to figure out what other people might be doing. You're trying to stay in the pack so you don't take exhaustion cards. Some very interesting mechanisms, one I like quite a bit. Next one is Welcome Back to the Dungeon. This was a sequel to Welcome to the Dungeon, a very popular sort of quick filler game that's press your luck, you're going down to the dungeon and you're either adding monsters to that dungeon or taking away equipment and one person's gonna be the last one there holding everything to try to go through and win. Very interesting game. This is a sequel to that, a standalone sequel, new characters, new monsters. Check that one out. Next one was uh, Dice Stars. So Dice Stars was is a fantastic uh, dice sort of filler game by Bruno Cathala, Ludovic Malblanc. It's about as easy to teach as Yahtzee, but has so much more going on and so much more to think about. My favorite dice game right now. Uh, another one is Assassin Con. This was a deduction hidden identity game for four to six players where you know the player to your left, let's just say, you're, is trying to kill you and you're trying to kill the player to your right. And you know who they are, but you're trying to figure out what color they are and everyone's moving simultaneously on the board and there's some paranoia and you're trying to figure out, well, what color is the person trying to kill me and how can I line up to kill the other person? And how do I do it without letting everybody know what color I am? Very interesting and fresh ideas there. And I did Mechs vs. Minions, the game everyone's been going nuts over. It's a game I don't, wouldn't typically want to look at because it's a bunch, of, a bunch of miniatures, but it's a programming cooperative game with some card drafting, uh, and I absolutely loved it. So go check it out. I do some really close-ups, some good sweeping shots on my slider, uh, looking at a lot of the minis and the components and stuff, so check that one out. Well, that's it for this past week. Keep your ears and eyes open because tomorrow we're going to be launching the October contest for Miniature Market to try to win a $50 gift card to their website. So we'll see you next week. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter and making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameBoyGeek.com. Click podcast.